Augustia. This is part two of the video I just uh, published. It works dream life um, techniques or manifesting and a manifestation update, something like this. This is the part two, and, and uh, I ended the last video by saying I'll make a second video because it was getting too long about practical manifestation techniques and the sun and moon and meditation, the sun and moon meditation and stopping time. Now, before I go into this, I want to use the preface that I said uh, in the last video about having access to so many techniques, right? And it can be, it can almost be paralyzing at times. And I want to remind you that take what's useful and discard the rest. Don't feel like you have to do everything. Do what works, do what works for you. Experiment. And if something feels good, indulge that. If something feels overwhelming, then don't do it. Just keep yourself uh, focused on the effect. Don't worry so much about the how. Uh, the how I, I've come to understand is really different and unique to every single person. It's going to have different things that work for them for whatever reason. And some things work for somebody else, some, some things not so much. So take what's useful, discard the rest. Now, with that said, I want to share a couple of things. Now, one of the things is about practical manifestation goals. Now, this is born out of, a, I was guided to watch uh, an older video from Dr. Ply. And it's one of those things where I was, it wasn't like guided, it was, it was guided, but it was like a, 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 one of those things that serendipitous. This video popped on my feed. It was like screaming out to me or calling out to me. So I was like, I was supposed to watch it. And so I did. And it was very applicable to my current situation. So what happened was, my manifestation goal, while attainable, it was, I would say, a very large leap from my current. And now my financial goals have been primarily, but not limited to financial growth. I've been also working on relationship and health, but primarily the focus has been on financial growth. And my, I wanted to go from a certain amount of money per month to a certain amount of money per week. And it was a pretty big jump. Um, but at the same time, I was feeling that, feeling that number, feeling that per week, and so it vibed with me a lot. But then I watched Dr. Pai, and he was saying, you know, it's better to, it can be better to focus on what he calls the practical, being practical about taking it baby steps at a time. And so if you're, if you're working on this, if you want to manifest, go to the next level, just focus on the next step. And maybe don't, maybe don't focus on making a, a, a trillion or billion dollars. You know, if you're making like, few thousand bucks a month, don't go from there to focusing on making a billion dollars a year, right? Take it in steps. And the way that I see it is what I believe is going to happen and what is happening is although I've switched from, so what happened is, I'll tell you that in a second. What happened was I switched my number from a money per week to a money amount per month that is a healthy, healthy step, but it's something that is not like massive, okay? And that seems to be working very, very well for me. And after I started doing that, all this stuff started rolling in. And I shared a lot of that stuff in the last video. Now, um, God, I lost my train of thought with the other thing I was going to share about this, but maybe it's for the best. So focus on a practical goal. Oh, yes. What I what I believe is going to happen, what I, what I think is happening is while I'm, I'm, I'm putting a number, I'm not saying limited, not limited to this amount per month. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to manifest way, way more than that. So even though you may be focusing on a certain goal, know that you may overshoot that by a lot, which I am almost all but certain that's exactly what's happening to me currently. Okay. Now, I also want to remind something that I didn't share in the last video. It's also been praying. It's not just manifestation, meditation like this. I still get on my knees every single day in front of my altar, in front of images of God that I resonate with, and I pray for these things. So... It's a very important part of this is not just it's invoking and asking for help because one of the things Dr. Ply shared about in a video is what's even more powerful than doing the manifestation things, which is important to do, is getting a higher being to sponsor you, somebody who can manifest, particularly a guru or an angel or a god or goddess. So I've been working with a being, Augustia, and I go to him for everything. And so I ask him to manifest this stuff for me. And you know, that he's the one doing everything. Honestly, if, if it was up to me, I probably wouldn't be manifesting. And at, at least as fast, okay? Granted, over time, for sure, but the way things have been happening so fast, I'm, I know for sure he's definitely intervening and doing this, okay? So get a sponsorship of a higher being. Get on your knees and pray in front of them and, and develop a relationship with them. Very, very important and cannot be overstated, understated, 
overstated enough. You must, must do this if you want to manifest fast. Okay, now the sun and moon meditation stopping time. Now this is a very interesting thing. I've been experimenting and dabbling with this. Um, I'm still mostly focused on the ah meditation, but I am still incorporating this occasionally in my extended meditations. There's two meditations Dr. Ply gives during the same video. Um, there's a couple videos. If you don't, go type in Dr. Ply Sun and Moon Meditation. I think there's two to three videos. Go watch all of them. Uh, he gives two different types. Over two different videos, he gives three different types of meditations. One is the Sun and Moon in the brain. One is the Sun and Moon in the heart. And there's this one. He gives a technique from Kakabushinda, the Siddha Kakabushinda, which is a, 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 a subtle pranayama technique where you visualize a thin line from your heart out of your head. And then another tech, another component of it is in through your nose. And you go watch the video. A very powerful initiation. Why you're doing these, and again, this is one of those serendipitous things where I was, it came into my feed, it was screaming out to me, and it was like something that I was supposed to watch. So I did, and I've been experimenting, and I've been enjoying the meditation techniques. My thing is, I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many things. I find that I get the best results when I am streamlined and focused, but I will incorporate things. It's almost like I, I class, I categorize my techniques into two categories. I have my main core stuff, which I like to rest on as my foundation. And then I have these sort of, I want to call maybe extracurricular auxiliary a la carte stuff that I will mix in as it feels right once in a while. But I don't want to like force myself because I'm someone in the past that's why I gave the preface in both the videos where I've tried to incorporate so many things that it's paralyzed me. And I've gotten to a point where I was very almost felt like resentful, like it was just shutting me down. So I want to be very cautious in my videos when I share this stuff. Don't overwhelm yourself. Just take what works and go one step at a time. Just if you can just do one thing, that's very, very powerful, important. Just do one thing. If you want to do two things, do it when it feels good, but do it only when you're ready to do that, okay? Now, the sun and moon meditation, what is the whole point of this and this other pranayama thing I'm talking about? Manifestation fast. So there's manifestation, there's accelerated manifestation. This is more an advanced thing where you are stepping out of time to manifest instantly. Now, while it may not happen instantly right now, but depending on your level of consciousness, at the highest level, you're looking at working towards an instant manifestation. On the way to getting to there, it could you're compressing time to say instead of something a manifestation that maybe would take five to ten years, you can do it in six to eight months, or you can do it in two months. You can do it in a week. Okay, so these are very important, are uh, very uh, worthwhile techniques to experiment with and give it a try. Put on to your extended meditations in the morning and evening. The sun and moon. Um, I've been drawn to. The sun and moon ones are great. I personally really resonated with the Kakabushinda one. That, that, that one seems to, and what I mean by that is when I use that technique, for some reason, I feel that one at a much deeper level. Um, it seems to really put me into a certain state uh, more powerfully than the other ones. So I have chosen to do that one, but I'm giving all, I'm, I'm tuning you into all three of them because you may pick another one that works for you better. And then you just take that and run with it. If you can find one. So Give these a try and to compress time to manifest faster and know this. And I will close the video on this. This is a very important, uh, something that you should be fully aware of all this work and effort. You can call it as you do it more and more and more. What happens is it snowballs. So look at it instead of one off meditations, one off techniques. I'll give this little fat a try, or I'll do this little diet thing. The more that you do it, you are uh, generating incredible energy. What I mean by that is the more that I do my third eye meditations, as I shared in my past video, the more easy it is for me to feel my third eye, the more easy it is for me to put the thoughts in there, the more easy it is for me to remember the ah in there, the more deeper I feel it, the more easy it is for me to slip into that new identity, the more that I do it, meaning it's my manifestations. It's like an exponent. You know what exponential graphs are? Instead of having like a, a slow thing, it's going like a curve where it's it's in exponentially increasing. The more I'm doing it, it's like I'm pointing myself more and more up to the sky as opposed to just kind of this slow, like graduate. It's like, boom, like this. So keep investing. It's think of it as an investment. You put some money in, you're not going to get just that money back. Every dollar you put in, you're getting more out of it. 
Every second you put in, you're going to get more seconds back. Every energy you put into manifesting, you're going to get more out of it. So look at it like an investment and build your portfolio. Develop your assets. Your assets is turning on your third eye, getting yourself to feel the sounds, getting yourself to remember the meditations, getting yourself to be able to do meditations for half an hour, hour, two hours, without having to try to do it. Because this all becomes natural, just like you don't forget to brush your teeth in the morning, and it's easier for you to do that. It's the same way with all this stuff. So look at it as investment. Now, if you have any questions or any comments or feedback, please leave them underneath this video. I shared in the past one. Lena's comments have inspired me to start re re reanalyzing all this, make some more videos for you guys. Leave comments. It's, it's powerful. People get inspired. And if you have questions, I will respond to everything. I intend to respond to everything. And Give this video a like to, for the algorithm. So if you found this useful, by giving this video a like, it'll help populate it onto the news feed for other people who may be interested and may benefit from this. And if you know anybody directly, go ahead and share it with them as well. So as always, wishing you the best. Happy manifesting and God bless.